Hello and welcome back to the Champ Manager 0102 in 2018 series. We are in 2018, we've holidayed from 2001 to 2018 and we've taken over Tottenham because they've got relegated to the third division of English football, which is the second division. But because the Premiership is there, it is the third division of English football, or the third tier of English football, I should say. We have a familiar name to those of you that love Champ Andro 102 in Tom Tom Zola Makoku. 34-year-old Ghanaian here as a player coach who we've signed. Other than that, it's all pretty new players. Mads Tim is maybe one that recognises or jumps out at you. In the last game, we got knocked out to Crystal Palace in the League Cup with our goalkeeper getting sent off. And before that, we had a 2-0 win away at uh, home at Chesterfield and then a 3-1 away loss to Grimsby where our centre-back got sent off. So this is how we're lining up today. A new partnership at the back. Smith and Bull are there. Um, Campbell is injured, for those that have seen the previous episodes. And uh, Aguedo's ban has kicked in. So we're lacking a little bit of fitness, but we'll see how it goes today to play Wigan. Zimmerman and Mahan at the right wing are the full-backs. Anderson, Robson and Burgess in the middle. Makoku running in between Tim and Jimenez up front. Jimenez is probably the one that's lacking the most, so we may actually start Adolfson up there. So let's get into the game. Again, it's going to be hopefully three games per episode, and we're going to do this as a playthrough and just see how far we get. And this will be being released whilst I'm away in the UK. So we're underway. Again, I keep going on about it. The simplicity of this game is absolutely incredible. That's what makes it so addictive um, and so fun to play. We're trying some new things out with the tactics. We've dropped off the counter attack and we're now playing the offside trap just to see which ones we can actually get to work but at the moment it's not been the best to be honest um we're gonna a pretty good team in the second division at the moment if i remember rightly they're up near the top no i've made that up they are right near the bottom which means we're probably going to lose so uh tim brings it forward burgers adolphs and tim into the box hits it low miller saves diving to his right but yeah so mads tim Hasn't quite hit the ground running and he could be someone that loses his spot. Hopefully he'll score today as his shot hits sharp. Makuku, Robson, he scores! The central midfielder puts it in the back of the net. And he has been superb since we've moved him into that central midfield role. He's been very, very good. He's 30 yards out in the area for Tim. Tim heads it towards goal, but just over the bar again. As uh, we are apparently all over them at the moment. Burgers trip Gary Palmer. Don't send him off. Thank you. Tim, and then he's in, Adolfson's offside, or Dolphoson, or Dolphson, I think it would be, but yeah, so he's in, Makoku, he continues his run, he's still going, Adolfson shoots, Zimmerman, oh, he's robbed by Greg Oakes, it's just, I just love the commentary, I love the text commentary, and I've mentioned it before, the imagination that you have to use to see what you think is happening, and everything like that. But yeah, I really hope you're enjoying the series. Leave a like. Let me know if there's players that you want me to go and see. If we can have a look. A lot of the old players have become coaches. And are, are really weird clubs for coaching. Like Rude Van Nistelrooy is at Portra. Portra in Portugal. Um, and he's a very good coach. And he's just there chilling out. Tim. Tim. Mads Tim on the volley. An excellent goal by Mads Tim. Hopefully that, that gets him firing. And into the form that we know he can produce. Mads Tim. Actually, a fact about Mads Tim, in his career as a Man United man, uh, Man United player, I think he crashed a car when he was like 17 in the youth team. And uh, that was when Fergie was sort of like gave up on him um, and just released him on a free. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to very quickly Wikipedia Mads Tim and see what it says. Mads Tim. Wikipedia. I mean, he looks... He spent his youth career. He joined Man United. After Man United, he went on loans to Viking, Lynn and Walsall, then moved to Odinese. He still plays, apparently, although it's got... Oh, Toto Makuko has scored! No one's picking his runs up from midfield. This is more like it. 3-0 at the moment. Um, Mads Tim is... The last three clubs he's played for have had question mark, question mark, question mark behind them. And it says 2011 to unknown. In August 2009, he retired from professional football because of injuries and a lack of motivation. But in 2011, he restarted his professional career with Danish football club... Kurtemind, which suggests he is still playing because it doesn't say he's retired again. So that'll be interesting to look him up. Um, Adolfson, um, I don't really know what we should do here. Maybe I'll just give. I'm just gonna leave it. I think. Yeah, we're three 0 up, playing well against Wigan. This is moving us up into the playoff spots in sixth, which is great. As uh, can we just get another goal? Makoku misses the target. Player coach Tonton Zolo Zola Makoku. Is uh, yeah, love it. Love having him in the team. Lopez and shoots. Go, go, Adolfson, and it's four. And the three front players have scored. One of the central midfielders has scored. This is beautiful. 
We're going to take Anderson off and we're going to bring on Unsworth in there. We'll swap Burgess and Anderson over. Uh, and Un Unsworth, sorry, over. Uh, Tommy Ball's doing okay at the back. We've got Trevor Wharton on the bench. He's a youngster. We'll bring him on. 4-0 up. Doesn't really matter too much anymore. Um, if we And if we concede, it means that the goalkeeper won't get a clean sheet bonus. So save a little bit of money. But with two minutes to go, it looks like we're starting off this episode with a cracking win away at Wigan. 4-0. Maybe the team just needed to... Uh, Sort it out. Mads Tim gets a second. It's wonderful stuff. 90th minute. This is the Mads Tim that I was expecting to sign. We've got quite an old strike force. Yeah, they're delighted with it. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. So Mads Tim, 33 and leading the line. Uh, behind him, Toton Zolo Makoku, 34. And Adolfson's up there at 30. Backing them up, Chris Holmes is 19. Blake is 22. Uh, Parkinson's 28. We might look to cash in on Parkinson. And Jimenez, obviously, 24, the new signing. Uh, DeVries, 21. He's got a little bit. It's a minimum fee release clause. I should probably give him a new contract and get rid of that. Uh, nope, get rid of that. Give you a little bit more money just to keep you around. That should keep you happy. Uh, we want to get rid of that if Man City are sniffing around him. Chester is on Lee Cartwright. Walsh moves to Birmingham. Uh, Bournemouth. Lee, Southend's on Thompson. Stokes, James Thompson. 32. I thought I recognised him. I don't. Uh, Rasid Alduyuli was another striker I was looking at potentially bringing in. His contract is expiring. Let's see if he's. Let's see if he wants to move this time. Yeah, he does. He was more open to negotiations. He'll be a good little backup striker to get in, and maybe we can then look to sell on someone else. So Sheffield Wednesday up next. Fitness in the lower leagues games come thick and fast, and you've really got to mix it up. So uh, we'll do Burgess for Unsworth, um, Adolson for Jimenez. He can come back in. Mad Tim is looking tired, so Blake can get a start. Although, was Adolfson? No, Adolfson was fine. Uh, Zolo McCoke will have to get a rest, and he will be replaced by Parkinson. Um, Michael Mahan is looking tired, so Craig can come in and get a start. And Andy Robson, the central midfield linchpin of the team, is looking a little bit tired. So we might have to give him a bit of a breather as well. I mean, it's worked with one holding midfielder, and it's, so let's see if it works with Howard in the other one. We'll go from there. We've got a pretty strong bench. Tim, Makoku, Burgess, Wharton can come off the bench and be replaced by Aguedo because he's back from his ban. Uh, and Mahan can probably be replaced by Robson, who's a bit more utility. And uh, Robson loves to handle the ball, so we can put him in goal if necessary. We get the game underway, sticking, sticking with the same tactic. Um, and just, you know, let's see how it goes. We should be winning this league quite comfortably with the money we've got and the players we have in the squad. Obviously, didn't get off to the best of starts losing to Grimsby, but we seem to have turned it around a little bit now. So, we just need to show that our second string can do it as well, although technically Jimenez is going to be my first team striker. But the way the rotation is working at the moment, he's lining up with the second, what is pretty much the second team, as they get an immediate equaliser. Aronson scores his first goal of the season, 28-year-old, looking... He's, he's okay, isn't he? I mean, what's finish, finishing 16? Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how he gets on. Um, in it goes, Smith into Unsworth, nice turn on the ball, Parkinson. Chips into there, punched to safety by the goalkeeper there. But yeah, it's just a fun little game to play, and um, it should, yeah, it'll be good. There'll be one of these every day, hopefully. There'll be one of these for the week I'm away, Monday to Friday. There'll be an episode every day, which means we won't even get to the end of the season. But we'll then have a chance to carry it on and just uh, go through it. As so Adolphson's on a great run here, puts it in. Is that? It's a free kick, not even a card. Yet he played the man and not the ball really hard. Not even. That's the sort of stuff we were picking red cards up for in the first few games of the season. As a Sheffield Wednesday intercept, but can't control it. It's 1 1. And uh, anyone playing badly? No, Tommy, Tommy Bull, after his good game last game, isn't having the best of times out there in this. Jimenez powers a header at goal. Good save. McDonald gave him no space and the keeper did well. But Jimenez is sort of showing why we've brought him in now. 2.5 million was a lot of money. Uh, how much is he actually worth? 475k. So you can argue we've overpaid somewhat for uh, Jimenez. But yeah, he's you know you pay for the stats, you pay for the player you want. And he was one of the players that I spotted. And wanted to get him in quite urgently. Damn, we did not need another injury. Let's have a look at is this condition really going to make a difference here? They're all around 8%. So whoever we bring on now, uh, I'm going to bring on, it's going to bring Makoku is going to come on. And we're going to drop Parkinson back there. I just think Makoku will give us that extra bit of difference running from deep in those midfield spots. We've already showed in the previous games that 
he will struggle a little bit. So let's get in there and uh, hopefully win this game. As uh, now Sheffield Wednesday looking to get a goal just before half time. Dallas does well to make the save. Can we go down the other end and score a free kick in the last few minutes of the first half? No, we don't. And that is half time. We've already made a sub. I am going to take Tommy Ball's going to come off for the. Uh, card prone, I could call him, Aguado. And I think if he doesn't sort himself out, we might cash in because I think we can get quite a lot of money for him. Although he's a young player and it'll be good to come with us, us through the. Through the leagues, as it were. As uh, Makoku lines up the free kick, it hits the wall and nothing comes of that. Sheffield Wednesday look to counter, but we tackle them very well at the back. Yeah, it's interesting. It's quite it's quite weird in a way, because you can't do you can't change too much stuff in in chat I was about to say football manager. In chat manager 0102. You can't change too much that's going on in the background, but there's a lot of things that you can do. As Lee Smith tries to get a shot away, I think we're gonna have to bring on some well, I've only got one sub left, and champ manager, if I remember rightly, always loved to screw you over when you made all three subs and then give you an injury. But we'll keep this going as Kuna comes in on goal. Good tackle from Parkinson. And uh, corner taken, Aguirre heads the ball away. That's that's fine. That's what he's on there for. We just need to nick another goal and we'll be all right, I think. It's Parkinson. Jimenez, this is a great run. Jimenez, he gave a one-two, but he's hit a speculative effort. All it said was he's hitting a speculative effort, and Anderson has scored his first goal for Tottenham. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So we're going to keep this going, I think. We don't need to make any more changes. Half an hour to go in the game, and we've got another free kick. Jimenez handballs. What? I mean, seriously, do my players have a problem with handballing the ball here? It's ridiculous. Um, Lee Smith looks forward up to Anderson. Makoku heads towards goal! And the, the, the club captain, I'm going to call him that because that's what he is when he's on the pitch, makes it 3-1. It's all a little bit more comfortable now in this world of 2018 in Champ Manager 0102. And I, I yeah, pff, love it. I love this game. I just love it. It's so much, mo so much fun. As I said, you fly through the seasons. You fly through the games. You don't have to think about it too much. It's nostalgic. It's good fun. But yeah, it's good. I think it'll be good as a little mini series. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Let me know down below if you are. Who is your favourite player in Chat Manager 102 or in a previous version before FM came around into what it is now? Who is your favourite player in like Chat Manager 102, uh, 304, 4, Chat Manager 6, I think it went up to, um, before Football Manager became a thing? Jimenez, because I assume most people watching this series will be people that used to play Chat Manager 102. As uh, the ball goes in, can we make it four in the last few minutes? Buckley makes a good save and hold on to the ball. Okay, let's get um, let's get Mads Tim on for uh, Adolfson up front just to get that. You know, just keep his legs going, keep that match fitness up for Mads Tim. As Anderson lays it off, Tim, he's on, he scores. It's four one. Oh, it won't count. The whistle had gone. Jimenez was offside. That's a shame for Mads Tim. I thought he was going to have a perfect introduction as a sub and, and go with that, but. We've got to just keep working hard. And, uh, oh, Mads Tim with a good header. This pushes us up to third. So we're keeping place or keeping space with the people at the top of the table. Um, and we'll go from there. Sorry, just checking my phone because I've got to leave for football in a minute. So checking the time as Buckley. Buckley's done well and kept them in that game. And a good 3-1 win up to third position. The board are delighted once again. Um, and we've got enough time just to squeeze one more game in. And we'll go from there. David Darlington has been promoted to our... Reserves from our youth academy. Okay, I'll take that. Don't see that too often. Um, Hillison De Vries rejects contract offer. He really wants that minimum fee release clause in there. So we'll put it in, but it's 3.2 million. That's I can accept 3.2 million for you. That's not a problem. Powell must have his injury. Smith moves to South End. Ella Dewey rejects the deal. Okay, well, if you don't want to move for a difference in lifestyle. I've also gone to Everton's Adidas Hogland. Oh, wow. He is... He is very good. Um, indispensable. No, didn't think you would want to move. Portsmouth transfer bid for De Vries. Reject. Uh, important first team player, even though he's technically not. Lee Smith. Reject. Um, indispensable to the club. He's going to be my starting set. He's going to replace Aguado at the back. So here we go. Third game of the uh, episode. Makoku takes award. Obviously he does. And we're going to keep this going. We're going to keep a similar team. What are you unhappy about? I'm not allowed to move clubs. Oh, shut up. Get on with the game. Um, Adolfson to be replaced by Tim Makoku to come in for attack in midfield I realise I just said we're going to keep the same team We're 100% not Because we're changing quite a lot of people around um, Midfield centre will be Burgess Howard will go back to Robson um, Mann will come in 
Left back will go. Well, actually, we might stick with Zimmerman if he's got the fitness. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that team. Apart from um, Bull is Cre oh no, Campbell's not back, so we'll start Aguado in there, and we'll put Craig onto the bench like that. And we've got one sub spot left. Let's put a goalkeeper on. I've got a funny feeling that we might get a sending off again as we get the game underway. Bournemouth looking to get an early goal. And uh, wow, that was a goal kick from Dallas. They won a header and then someone had a shot. It was a good save. Bournemouth, uh, I think they're quite a strong team. I'm going to make myself look like an idiot again, aren't I? Yeah, no, they're not. They're down in 19th. I thought they are having a better start to the season or they've dropped down from divisions, but obviously not in this sort of era as um, Walsh puts it high and wide. Bournemouth starting very, very well in this game. Let's see how it goes. So can we? we just need that chance. We just need one chance to fall to Mad Tim or Makoku, and I think we'll be okay. Let's resume this match and get it underway. Um, so I, I think Arjen Robin is still playing, actually, in the game. I saw some news about him, and they've got they've got a player called Nichols, which always makes me interesting, interested, because that's my surname. As Makoku clears the ball, it's a goal kick, and Tottenham not having it all their own way at the moment. Would a win take us top? Potentially. Potentially a win could take us top. It's well saved by Mitchell from Mads Tim's volley. And uh, the photos in the background make me laugh as well. There's so so many in there that look like old school, like football grounds and crowds and like pitches. And this is when it first started with um, the AFC Wimbledon and how their club was coming about and champ managers or Sports Interactive sponsored them. So you get quite a good, lot of funny pictures in the background. As Makoku hits the woodwork and goes over from a left-footed volley from uh, Toten Zolo, M Zola Makoku. I keep calling him Zolu. That's not his name. It's Zola. Um, Jimenez, header from Jimenez, uh, it's a wide half chance, put under a lot of pressure from the defenders and uh, it goes past Makoku and it's coming forward quite a lot of the time here Dallas with a good save and Bournemouth are not lying down they're making this hard for us as they've got a lot of very English names in their team, Healy, what a save from Dallas, I mean I couldn't see it but it said Healy has to score Dallas gets a fingertip to it and that's why you pay the big bucks for a goalkeeper um, and we're coming forward. Tim stretched to get the ball, chips it forward, bends it from range. Makoku, if it was a rebound that fell to him and he tried to go around someone. So it obviously wasn't a clear-cut chance. Anderson, Robson, pass it into there. And Makoku, he's clipped penalty. It is, it's a penalty. And it's a red card for once we get a decision in our favour. And Robson sticks in the penalty. Mitchell got sent off. Is that, it's their first choice goalkeeper that's been sent off. Now, did they put a goalkeeper on the bench? They did, damn. Damn, 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 damn. We'll restart the game. No need to change too much at the moment. We're we're playing pretty well. Uh, only Lee Smith could possibly improve. But I'm happy with how it's going. We're a man up. We should be comfortable in this game, to be honest. And I like comfortable. I like comfortable in football games. Football games are, are good when it's comfortable. So Jimenez picks up with the feet. Bahan chips the ball in. Burgess into the area for Tim. Moves in on goal. It's another penalty. Is it? It is. It's another penalty. And uh, Jimenez is about to get sent, over, sent off. No, he gets a yellow card. Robson gets a double from the spot. Bournemouth are losing their call. Jimenez is losing his call, so he's going to come off. And uh, he's going to be replaced by Adolfson. I won't do anything silly. Um, Adolfson can come on. And, yeah, Lee Smith not really getting into the game too much. We'll leave it there. I don't fancy getting Jimenez sent off. So, well, after that little push into someone's chest, we'll get... We'll get him off. But 2-0 sends us top of the table, which is where we will hopefully stay for the rest of the season. Matt Tim with a fierce shot, saved well by the Bournemouth goalkeeper. And uh, all of a sudden, with a header clean over the bar, wasted opportunity. I think I'm now considering maybe De Vries should be our backup striker. Adolfson hasn't had too many good games. He doesn't really take his chances that well. Um, he misses quite a lot of things that the text then says he's missed an easy chance. So... I'm just wondering if, yeah, maybe we take him off or drop him out of the team at some point. But uh, let's get Tony Parkinson on for Fred Anderson in the middle. And we'll go from there. So Parkinson comes on for release. Anderson, 10 minutes to go. That will fly by pretty quick, I imagine. And uh, it has. It really has because there's only three minutes to go now. And Maham runs on to it in the Parkinson to Zolo Makoku. Zolo Makoku by Scott and Robson. He was looking for his hat trick. But it's a good save from the goalkeeper to deny him. And it falls to Mads Tim. He's dispossessed by Miller. And again, we're all over them at the moment. This is wonderful stuff from Spurs. 
In so Tim, Tim sticks it in. He just needed a couple of games to settle. That's all it was, Mad Tim. Just needed a couple of games to settle down and get the goals. And there we go. We finish this episode top of the league where we should be. And that is a wonderful, wonderful sight to see. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this fun little series. Please leave a like if you are. And if you're new, why not subscribe for this Champ Manager series and for my Football Manager stuff and the Pez stuff that will be coming in the future. But thank you very much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.